of exquisite style. What brings you out here to the gala today? So I've been coming here now for a few years, and I mean, I learned so much my first time here. I said I would never miss it. So many people reach out to me, I don't feel good, I don't know what's wrong with me, and typically, so many people with Lyme are misdiagnosed, and they give up. And I didn't realize that pe there's such a high suicide rate I didn't know that with, as well. with yeah. Lyme, and I found that out here because between the pain and the misdiagnosis and, and not being able to be treated, and it's so hard, and people just give up. Young people of all ages, it doesn't discriminate. Just the other day, I got a call from a girl. She's 24 years old, crying because I have Lyme, and nobody believes me. And I Often was able, you hear that, that they don't believe you with those symptoms. Yes, and because of coming here, I was able to send her to their hotline, and they will listen to her, and they will believe her, and they will not blow her off as it's like, oh, it's in your head, or oh, we can't find no. it. Yeah. yeah, I love this. This is a great, great thing to have here, and I and I really support them. And it's a great cause. Now, great obviously, cause. in your world, there's a lot, a lot of drama. You want to talk a little bit about the drama? <laughs> it's been a crazy season, I'm sure you could read. Um, every year in New Jersey, we always start the next year like, how are we going to top the next? And I'm going on my eighth year, and I'm like, how can next year be better than the year? But I can't, we can't do it. We, we're going to hit a wall. And sure enough, we didn't. So this year's been, across the board, very different, very unpredictable, switching things around. And I can't say too much, but I'll say it's, something to look forward to. We love you, Shelly Stillmack, queen of exquisite style. Oh, and we love you. Thank you so much.